Hi. Oh, oh we're I'm just not even so afraid. <laughs> Let me scoot over. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, we got room here. Uh, we obviously we didn't uh, plan this uh, <laughs> earlier. <laughs> <laughs> There's Michelle. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Rolling with Ruel. My name is Ruel Gaviola, and I'm happy to be here with my family tonight. Um, we are going to be playing Las Vegas Royale from our sponsor, Robin's Burger. I, again, I am Ruel, the host, and my co hosts are my wife, Michelle. Hi. And our daughter, Lauren. Hi. It's been a while since Lauren's joined us. It's uh, such a nice little treat whenever Lauren can hang out and play games. Cause She's so busy with school and work and everything else. So, and right now apparently she was super busy with yoga. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> busy with school, busy with work, busy with handstands classes. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so did you do a handstand today? No, I'm very bad at them. Uh, um, I have <laughs> no upper body strength, and it takes a lot of like shoulder strength, because like in a lot of yoga poses, they're like they want you to keep your shoulders down and away from your ears. Mm -hmm. But when you're doing handstands, your shoulders have to be like up near your ears, so it's a lot of like compression here. Okay. So like my biceps and my triceps always hurt a lot mm. after these classes. Um, and then like there's a lot of drills too. So oh. after like the first set of drills, I'm like. <laughs> have you done a headstand? Yeah, before. Okay. But yeah, I also felt like I was like jumping the gun a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like it's kind of like dip. Right. Yeah. Like, just all like the shoulder work in handstands class, like, is like you dares me <laughs> onto headstands. Yeah. Yep. Uh, your mom made uh, did a headstand when she was like hardcore yoga last year. Was it? No, it was the year it was, before. It was. Well, I don't want to say maybe within the last three years. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I remember when you did that. I was like, whoa, a headstand, crazy. Yeah, I, my yeah, friend took a picture. <laughs> yeah, I cannot do any of this stuff. Uh, I want to shout out everyone in chat real quick. Who's uh, dropping their upper arm or their upper body exercises? <laughs> Wait, what? Um, let's see, Gravini. Uh, I do. <laughs> what is it, Lieutenant Dar? Lieutenant Dan arm exercises. Um, Pen Angel is our chat moderator, so please behave or else the band hammer's coming out. Thank you, friends, for hanging out with us tonight. Much appreciated. See, Dead Last again. Hello, Dead Last again. Thank you. Um, let's see. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hey, T Viv D is back. Thank you for joining us. And then we see Gravini. Hello again. Hello again. Bottom shelf video games. That one's funny. You can increase your body strength by curling burritos. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but then you eat the burrito. Hey, that's your treat, though, afterwards. Is well, you need burrito. the protein, right? That's right. You yeah. know, for your muscles. <laughs> yeah. You can tell my body has been built by burritos. So <laughs> <laughs> that's why I try to hide behind this table. But, yeah, I mean, we went to uh, UCSB, the home of Freebirds, and that is a... Very large burrito that they have there. Did you see Bernie at Freebirds? Bernie, Bernie was, was at Freebirds? Well, no way. Well, you I know mean. the meme. <laughs> really? Oh, wait, I posted that. Yeah. I? Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait, isn't that the one you posted? I was like, <laughs> and then, you know, I, I was saying that. I was like, Bernie. I was like, wait, did he really go? And then halfway through my thought process, like, wait, did you, are you talking about Benny the Bits Bear? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're never but, talking about Benny the Bits Bear. <laughs> But Bernie the Mean, yes, he was at Freebirds recently. Um, as he has, he's been everywhere. I just read an article where that Bernie meme raised over a million dollars in for charity. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Bernie Sanders launched like a merch line, so you could buy like a black sweater with him on the front, mm -hmm. and like these stickers. Um, and then all the proceeds went to like three different charities in Vermont. Yeah, yeah, it's really oh, really cool to see. Cool. Yeah, very nice to see. Um, I just yeah. We, we, we love charity, so it's good to hear. And on the other end of that, someone, uh, some, like, grad student in New York made a, <coughs> like, put Bernie Anywhere generator with uh -huh. Google Maps, <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure he, like, single-handedly, like, made this guy bankrupt. Oh. Like, I guess he had to pay for every time, like, the Google Maps API was used. Oh. So oh I gosh. was like, look at Bernie oh. here! Look at Bernie oh. here! Bernie's in our house! <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then, no. um, I tried to share the link again the next morning, and the site was shut down because he said it was too expensive and he's like but you can like uh donate or like buy me coffee so i donated 15 dollars oh nice oh. all of his trouble <laughs> slivers has donated so has spent some bits thank you slivers um speaking of not bernie but benny <laughs> hello friends i'm benny the bits bear 
Unlike Bernie, I'm not everywhere. I just hibernate here until you spend bits. Thank you, Slivers, for spending the bits. May the force be with you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Star Wars? Yeah, Star Wars. <laughs> Michelle, can I ask you a favor? Could you turn that camera this way, just so you can be what more of the shot? Camera? That camera right there, the with Elijah on it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have said Elijah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Hello, friends. Yeah, if you could just... Like, not the camera itself, but the tripod. This. Yeah. Oh, the whole thing? Yeah, just sort of rotate a little bit. Yeah. That's oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Now, we do have the uh, microphone in the in the uh, shot here, folks, so we're going to apologize for that, but, you know, at least you can see Michelle, and we're not all, like, trying to, you know. Yeah. Go. Oh, like much this. better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> much better. And nothing has fallen. Yeah, and that's the big thing, right? Nothing's fallen. So, we have the mic there, but y'all, a little behind the scenes uh, the action for you there. Um... Let's see, what do we say? How how many Jeez. bits for a Lauren and Benny hug? Oh! <laughs> I'm going to need you to pay my last quarter of tuition. <laughs> That's an expensive oh one. Oh my gosh. GB Glazer, sorry to late. I was talking to my brother who just told me he accepted a job as a high school English teacher. Nice. Excellent. Well done. Yes. That's awesome. Oh, I don't Here have my props. Yeah, Thanks. round of applause for that. Well done. That's great news. Yeah. Again, teachers, folks, they are, they are our unsung heroes in our country. I loved my high school English teacher, Miss Peterson. Oh, she was great. Yeah. Because, like, honestly, like, before that, I was, like, I was just naturally smart, you know. Yeah. When you get to high school, it was a whole different ball game. Yeah. And I was getting, I think, like, a D in English my freshman year. And Ooh. I was like, what, what is this letter? Mm -hmm. I've never <laughs> seen this before. <laughs> so, yeah, she's the one that... that inspired me to do better to actually put forth effort in, nice. in high school nice yeah i had um i have two english teachers that were influential in my life my high school was mrs baldwin and she was a good teacher um i just remember her i read the two books that really stuck with me the count of monte cristo mm -hmm. by alexander dumas and then um harper lee's to kill mockingbird mm -hmm. those were like the two big ones for my high school education but the teacher that really like i don't know kicked me in the butt was Professor Krikorian at my junior college at Pierce College. Shout out to him if he's still around. He was like, he was known as, he was not a nice guy. You know, <laughs> no no students liked him. I loved him because he was just, he, he made us learn. I mean, it was like, yeah. it was in junior college to have a professor that made you read a dozen books in a, a semester. That's like unheard of, right? Yeah, it's mean. Yeah, it's, it's, it was brutal. <laughs> but you know what? I looked at it like I took it as a challenge, you know, because no one liked him. But it's, uh, I just noticed, like, all the top students like this guy. And I was like, I wonder why. I mean, he is sort of mean. But the more I took classes with him, I understood, like, he was there to teach, you know, and make you learn. And They didn't even have Google back then. I know, right? <laughs> I could have learned stuff. Yeah, I had to actually, Dang, you know. how yeah. old are you? <laughs> He's 87. <laughs> exactly. I had to walk up a hill in the snow barefoot. barefoot. Yeah. You didn't have shoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We didn't have shoes back then. They weren't invented yet. <laughs> we didn't back then. We didn't even have feet. We were had, <laughs> uh, we hadn't evolved yet. <laughs> oh. A tadpole <laughs> slithering up the snowy hill. I was gonna say that's why you've got scars on your knuckles, but I like the tadpole <laughs> better. <laughs> What about you, uh, the English teachers that were influential for you, Lauren? My mom was my 8th grade English teacher. Hey, so imagine that. How, how was your 8th grade English teacher? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll cover my ears. <laughs> you, you may speak. <laughs> uh, what about um, high school? Why, why was there no comment? <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Because you're my mom. <laughs> so of course I was the best English teacher. <laughs> What about high school or uh, college? I mean, um, I feel like, oh, 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 actually, I, my brain is in like four different places right now because someone said, you got a D in English, I can't even count that. Half. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, <laughs> me either. <laughs> um, the math, I couldn't spell either. <laughs> I realized I was bad at math in the third grade. Oh, wow. Um, so I, I knew that wasn't uh, the path <laughs> I was taking. Um, but at, at UCSB, actually, um, Ruel, uh, maybe, I don't know, a hundred years before I was there. <laughs> <laughs> when things were in black and white. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even, even in real life, it, it was, <laughs> there was no color. It, it wasn't even UC Santa Barbara. It was just Santa Barbara. There was no such thing as California. <laughs> 
before we even had a state. <laughs> It was just the schoolhouse. <laughs> <laughs> a little red one. <laughs> they had preschool through college in the same room. <laughs> um, well, the same class that I think got Ruel into ethnic studies um, was the same class that got me into ethnic studies. And I think the professor that you had had retired one or two years prior to me taking it. Oh. Um, but the professor I had was excellent and she's still there um, what class was this again asian and history no it was an english class and it was like mm -hmm. intro to american ethnic literature or something okay like that. Yeah. Um, yeah yeah and it was called something different back then yeah but it's the same thing it was called asian americans in english literature or something mine like that. wasn't asian americans in particular it was uh -huh. like housed in english and we uh -huh. read no no boy okay a raisin in the sun um, oh, okay. Something from a, a Native American lit class that I'd already taken, so I didn't read it again, and then something else. Okay. Yeah, that was different than what I had. But that's cool. That, so that was the class that launched all this. Yeah, and then I started taking Asian American Studies classes after that. It was nice. the first time I read No No Boy. Okay, I, I haven't read that. I, oh, I, really? I did not read that. No, that wasn't part of our curriculum back then. The one we did wasn't was. wasn't invented yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Bruel was in school before Japanese American cartoon. So how how could they have written? <laughs> our, our our books weren't even books, it was like just <laughs> carved in stone and stone tablets, you know. Oh, you mean they weren't on the walls? No. In the case? <laughs> yeah, not even that. We had tablets. Uh, they had tablets back then. <laughs> yeah. The non internet kind. Totally, like rocks, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> Thanks for joining us, friends. Let's look at the comments here. We have a lot of comments. We've been having some good times here. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so we asked about bits for Lauren and Benny Hug. Um, Daryl the Gaiman. Oh, Daryl the Gaiman. Oh, uh, Dean English can't even write out the high. Daryl says, I passed English but never read the required books. Ha <laughs> ha. Street smarts. Yeah. There's a difference between street smarts but and book smarts. You know, friends. I mean, when you take those tests and quizzes, I mean, sometimes you can just eliminate, you know, some off-the-wall answers. That's true. That's what I tell my students, you know, if you really have no clue, just you know, look for the clues. Yep. Uh, let's see, we have, um, Alex had also said, or board, um, Bob Shelf had also said, we don't have a grip yet. That's the person that would move all the lights and Oh, that would be right. me. Because yeah. I'm on the end. Yeah. Uh, the only grip we have is right here. We, I, I grip this. Okay. Uh, Can hire the neighborhood kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're so helpful. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Garden. Uh, yeah, yeah, TV Glazer talks about the famous LA snow. That is yes. right. I had one of Actually? Which, yeah, which actually happened yesterday for like a minute. Uh, nearby. See, that's why you were able to walk to school barefoot. That's exactly. You know, or swim. You know, it's a castle. Panda says, I had one English teacher that gave me a B because I couldn't draw. Wait, what? <laughs> I was trying to hold me back from... What? Really? You couldn't draw? They get, what, what the heck is that? Hi, Games of Fire. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, to live in Dyson, LA. I don't know what I logged into seeing, but I love seeing your laughing face. Thank you. We're, we're talking about um, school back when I was in school. You when know, things were black and white. When things were black and white, <laughs> and um, we had, instead of textbooks... We had, you know, things, car stone. Uh, stone tablets and stuff. <laughs> uh, this was the best dreams ever. Thanks, Games for our TV <laughs> My high school English teacher always made us read the required books, but would then show us the Simpsons parody. Oh, to get us through. That's awesome. He also made us write Letterman-style top ten comedy lists to practice our writing. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. That is awesome. Top ten. Oh, oh how great is that? Oh, ideas. Yeah. Here. Ding. Here. Wow. Lauren, uh, that class sounds so good. Well, took it too. <laughs> I did, yeah. Stone tablets equal fancy, yeah. So nowadays, Lauren, her tablet's like an iPad. Back then, mine was a rock. <laughs> Same but different. Stone tablet. <laughs> a stone tablet. I know yeah. everything just went 360. Right? Totally. Like where we started. Yeah. <laughs> it's like fashion, you know? Yeah. You know, fashions go out of style, but you know they're going to come back. <laughs> That's right. Uh, your friend Dakota's in the house. Hi, Dakota. Thanks for hanging out. Um, we are going to be playing. This has been fun. This is, <laughs> see, we missed this. We, we missed haven't family. even gotten into stream snacks. <laughs> I know. What? Speaking of stream snacks, let's uh, bust that out. What are y'all eating uh, today for stream snacks? Lauren fed us well today for lunch and dinner. Um, what do we have here? Stone tablets. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna part the red sea. High five, right there. Yeah, high, high five. virtual high five. Uh, <laughs> 
Street snacks. What's everyone uh, eating at or drinking? I've got water um, because Lauren brought plenty of goodies today. We had, what did we have for lunch? We had bibimbap. Yeah. So good. And, and it had like really cool packaging. Um, packaging was on point. There yeah. was like the cardboard bowl that had rice and uh, the bulgogi. And then there was like a lid that was also a container that had all of the vegetables. And then there was a lid for that. So nice. It was so efficient. Yeah. It was like a bento box, like a oh, yeah. Korean yeah. bento box. Yeah, and the best part, the one, the part with the um, um, like for the veggies. For the like veggies, I, I almost said banchan, but is it banchan? Yeah, it's banchan, I mean, isn't yeah. it? Well, I don't know. Cause for, it's like because it's part of the it yeah, the, put it in the, the little box. toppings. Yeah. yeah, so it's like little. It was like this comp uh, cylinder with a bunch of compartments. And the second I saw it, I was like, oh, this is perfect for a board game. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, we're going to eat it, uh, eat out of it, and totally <laughs> wash it, and then we're going to use it for board games. Uh, what's this? Uh, love Korean food, don't love babimbo. Oh, bummer. Uh, if my English teacher used board game rule books as examples, I would have paid a lot more attention. Yeah, board game spam. Thank you for joining us, by the way. Um, I think that's actually a cool little... Um, I don't know, assignment, like write a rule book or something? Yeah, mom actually made us do that. Oh, really? Um, there was like, a, it was basically a technical writing, like writing for audience mm. activity where you made us uh, write the rules for to make a PB&J sandwich and like oh. everyone was like, you just make the sandwich. Yes. And you were like, what does that mean? Yeah. So you have to go get the bread and the peanut butter and the jelly and then what do you next yeah the sandwich doesn't just like appear so you like, just put it there yeah, yeah. so that, you were teaching them technical writing back then that's cool i started well when i started my career i you know taught third grade and that's i started with that oh so, okay <laughs> sorry i was teaching you third grade stuff too <laughs> no but i mean it was all you know sequential and you have to include the proper details or else you know you're not going to understand mm -hmm. you know like what if I don't know what a peanut butter and jelly sandwich is. Yeah. And you just say, you know, you put the peanut butter and jelly on it. Yeah. On what? Yeah, I you don't, know? I don't know how. You know, it's like you take the jar, put the jars there. You know, you, you well, want you those use your fingers. Yeah, and, exactly. You know. <laughs> Um, we have uh, Games of Fire. Ooh, Games of Fire has nachos. Nice. Cheese, beans, meat. Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. Got on all. Uh, GB Glaze was jealous of the Korean food. Yeah, we were oh, so good today. We also had dim sum for dinner. <laughs> so, I mean, Lauren just took it from here to here with dim sum. <laughs> and boba. <laughs> you know, I made three stops on the way over here. I got boba, and then I picked up the bibimbap, and then um, we have a to-go, uh, whatchamacallit, dim sum place. It's mm -hmm. actually called Food To Go. Um, and by the time I got there early afternoon, they're normally sold out of everything. So I was just anticipating to get like leftovers. Mm -hmm. but I walked in and everything was still full. Yeah. So, Good um, for us. <laughs> we're lucky. And the sesame balls. And egg Is that parts. what they're called? What? The sesame balls? Is it? Well, I, I never know what they're Filipino. called. Yeah, we call it Bootsy. Bootsy, Bootsy. Yeah, Bootsy, Bootsy. Bootsy, Bootsy. I, Bootsy. I don't know. Yeah. It's like the fried mochi with the red beans inside oh, and the yeah. sesame seeds on the outside. So, so good. good. Uh, to live and die, so like, oh my God, can you, uh, y'all adopt me? I come with a husband and baby. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for later this video. Oh, okay, we'll have to check that out. Uh, board game, so all I read was uh, Love the Bim Bop. Nice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're talking about stream sites. We, we had a really good day of eating today. Uh, Barbara Shelf says, we read a book around about cavemen, and my book project was a board game. Whoa, really? It had an economy with different currencies and had you doing quests on a giant grid map. I was only really familiar with Monopoly at the time, so it was a roll. Really? Wow. Well, didn't you have to do that for, like, your AP Euro yeah, class or something? Yeah, I did. And I had, like, overachievers in my group. So everyone else turned in a cardboard board. Wow! But my group turned in a card, uh, a carved like wooden board <laughs> with hinges in the middle. So it was really heavy. What? It closed shut, and it had like a wooden case too. And it was a board game. Yeah, but we just like glued paper, and yeah, it was wow. It was a roll and move too. Oh my gosh! Um, I hope you got an A on that. I don't know. A long time ago. <laughs> She's in grad school now, so no. does it, it work. Matter? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a good one. Jimmy Glazer, what is a 90s boy band favorite Korean dish? Mmm, bim bim bop. <laughs> yeah, the Hanson. Oh, that's right. Hanson. Mmm, <laughs> bop. <laughs> nice. That's what they eat when they're hungry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, friends, thank you again for joining us. We really appreciate it. Keep talking about those stream snacks in there. 
uh, in chat. We're going to move on to the game. I'm going to use the force. Whoop! Hey, there is the game. This is Las Vegas Royale. Uh, this is based on um, the original game, Las Vegas. And it's a dice rolling game. And what it, it's got a little dice rolling, a lot of, uh, a little bit of area control. So what you do is get to roll the dice in the little tray there. Um, since I can't reach, I'll just roll mine here. What you do, Michelle, Lauren, and I each have eight dice. There are seven of the small dice and one big die. And according to the rule book, you call it Biggie. So you're going to roll the dice and Biggie. So Notorious B.I.G., shout out, R.I.P. Uh, you roll your dice, and then you're going to select any one number and place those dice on uh, one of the numbers here. We have six different, they call them casinos. And you're just going to place them there. So if I did the two, can you place the two over there, Lauren? Just, yeah. All three of them? All three of them, yeah. Uh, up above? Yeah, right there. So we just take turns doing that, and at the end of the round, whoever has the most in each number will take the higher of the two monies uh bills the second place takes this if there is a tie nobody gets it so if me and um lauren had three dice there in that number two spot and michelle came in and put one die there we got to the end of the round uh, lauren and i counsel each other out and michelle would take the what is it sixty thousand sixty thousand dollar bill and the other one would just go back to the bank so what is this? Great question. I'm glad you asked. Thanks for asking, Ruel. Uh, I'm not <laughs> Ruel. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to do my, like, uh, talking to myself a bit. Um, anyways, great question, Michelle. Uh, Thank you. What <laughs> This is prime time. So anytime these three uh, spots, they're going to change each round. They're, this is what makes Las Vegas Royale a little different. This is where you have special abilities that um, come into play for each um, section here. Uh, so this one, prime time, is when you go there... At the end of the round, um, you are, what, 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 let me see, what, you, oh, okay. Whoever wins this one, so it doesn't trigger when you place dice here. At the end of the round when we do payouts, whoever wins this will roll the black dice. And then they're going to put those numbers, this one, for instance, two and one. And on the next round, those black dice count towards their color. Okay, so. So do you get to keep it with your hand? Uh, you will keep it here. Um, and then as you place dice there, the black one means that's counted towards your dice in the next round. So you can't use both of them? Oh, uh, you may. Yeah. So the one would go on the one. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. And then, um, and then that's at the end of the round. Then, um, we, you know, scores normal. That one down there, the lucky punch. This one's funny. So Michelle, can you put one of my yellow dice there? Uh, number one. Number uno. Okay. Anytime anyone goes there and places a die, you grab the lucky punch numbers and I'll take that. And then the player to your, you're going to take these, and this is sort of silly. Let me, so you take these three punches, you go under the table, and you're going to select one, two, or three, place it in your right hand, and then the player to your left, so Michelle, this would be you, you're going to guess, do you, do I have one, two, or three in my hand? One. Uh, you are incorrect. I have two. So what that means, I get the bonus there for two, which is $30,000. Oh, this one right here. Okay. <laughs> And if you were right, then you would have gotten the, the prize for that. <laughs> so that's the lucky punch. I'll that's put that funny. there. Isn't that funny? And then finally, we have the high five. The high five there, um, when activated, when someone places their fifth die on that casino. So if I had a couple of threes here and I put three more and I have the fifth die, uh, you take this $100,000. And then during the payout phase, when we're all done with the round, you change this in for 100000 bucks. <laughs> cool right it's an extra bonus yeah extra yep and extra. then the other spots four five and six they just count as normal whoever has the most on each number will gain that money at the end of the so round. so are these just random numbers uh those just stay on here until the end of the round whoever controls that one will roll those dice okay and place them. so it doesn't matter what's on there right now correct okay is this the fancy version of las vegas yeah jimmy glazer so this is actually based on uh, an old expansion. So we have the original game Las Vegas, and there's an expansion called Las Vegas Boulevard, which was available in like Europe for many years. But then they decide, hey, we're just going to mash up the two and um, call it Las, Las Vegas Royale. So here we are, Las Vegas Royale. This is it. I love the original game. This is our first time playing this. I want to thank Robinsberger for uh, sponsoring this episode. We're going to have some fun, roll some dice, and um, maybe talk about our English uh, classes or whatever, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Um, like, we're high rollers here. Yeah. Look at all this money. Yeah. Since Lauren hasn't been here in a while, would you like to take the first turn, Lauren? Sure. So oh. I roll all of my Yeah. Dice. And you can roll it in the little tray there. Uh, I'll roll mine here just because I can't reach. Oh, wait. One more thing. Sorry. 
Almost got away. We each start with two chips, these black chips here. At any time, after you roll your dice, if you don't like the dice you rolled, you may turn in a chip, take your dice back, and it, uh, player, it's basically a skip your turn. Can oh. you keep part of what you roll? Nope, it's either one, one all or, all, or all, all or nothing. nothing. Yep. Okay. And then I believe at the start of each round, we will get one new uh, chip. Uh, a player who has a... Each player receives two more chips uh, in addition to any leftover chips from the previous round. Okay, so cool. Two. Yep. Cool. Um, I remember Big E was worth two dice. Five. Well, I got a lot of fives. Ooh. And almost one of everything else. And I can only place dice in select one Select one number. number. Yep. Okay. So that's four fives. Yep. Okay. And then just take the rest of them back in your hand. That's the game. All right. So I'm rolling mine. I've got three, four... One, one, threes, fours. How much is in 60,000 there? You know, I'm going to put these on the ones because I want to play the uh, punch game. <laughs> Tokens, please. Oh, oh, you do it immediately. Yeah, you, this one you okay. do immediately. Okay, and Michelle, you will be guessing. Okay. Okay. Two. No, nope, I have three. Oh. Okay. So how much do I get? Um, 40,000. 40,000. So I just grabbed 40,000. So these go back? Back on there, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I got 40,000. We all start with nothing, folks, so 40. Again with the hexagons here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, the whole game's the shape of a hexagon. Yeah. What's wrong with hexagons? Well, I was just asking yesterday because we played a game that had, like, a hexagon-shaped pieces, mm -hmm. and I was like, why do, like, a lot of board games have this shape? Mm -hmm. And there were a few responses yesterday. And I can't remember what they are at the moment. Yep. Okay, so I have two. Oh, that was two, two, Ooh. two. So that's three, four, five twos. Nice. Three threes and a one. Okay, so twos. Oh, Michelle, we're going for that. Nice. Okay. So at the end of the round, if you have the most dice there, you will roll those black dice, and they will help you for the next round. Sweet. Nice. Uh, GB Lasers, uh, let's see, uh, since, yes, it has the base game. And update graphics. Yeah, so you could basically play the base game here, not just ignoring this stuff. You could take it off. These are all, uh, we're going to interchange these, and you just take them off. So you could totally just play the base game. It looks fancier, but we like all this so, uh, updated are stuff. Are these just um, random? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're double-sided. I am just I just picked uh, the first three that um, were on the thing here. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I got more fives. Wow. <laughs> um, oh, and I have two ones. Oh, I'm gonna play my ones. Okay, so since at the, if this the round would end now, if it would end now, neither of us would get the money because we're tied. Mm -hmm. But you do get to do the lucky punch. Mm -hmm. uh, the player on your left will guess, so I will be you. guessing. Yep. Oops. So under the table, Lauren, and then you will. I think I know what Lauren's gonna do, folks. I think um, I got you. No, you don't. I, I, I have, no, you yeah. don't. See, when we went to school in, in caves, <laughs> we, we learned about probabilities here. <laughs> So did okay. you play this with rocks and sticks? We did, yeah. <laughs> uh, in between our hunting and gathering. Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> okay. okay, Lauren, uh, you have three. Oh, man! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Told you! That's 40,000. 40K, what up? Dang. Woo! Okay, so that goes back. <laughs> 40,000, folks, imagine that. Okay, 40K. Fixed, fixed, fixed. <laughs> oh. And then it's my turn, so here's my money. I've got a one and a one. Okay. Uh, we're going ones again because I want to own that. I don't know why I'm fighting so hard, but I just like doing a lucky punch. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. i got to choose. Yep. Okay. I can't pick them up. Okay. Let's see. So one is chips. Two is how much? 30? Mm -hmm. Three is 40? Mm -hmm. Okay. Two. One. All right. So I get two chips. <laughs> okay. And it's Michelle's turn. <laughs> the pit boss is going to come. <laughs> Panda says, be careful, Lauren. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I got another two. Yeah, yeah GB, it's, it's basically the same game, but then we have you have the extra ones on uh, spots one, two, and three. Uh, which one do you go to, babe? Oh, oops. I had a two, so. Oh, okay. You're, yeah, you're locking that one up. Nice. Um. Okay. Ooh. 
Let's see, I've got fours. Oh, yeah. We're putting fours here. Okay. And by the way, we played three rounds, folks. Now that's the game. <laughs> Too many twos. Yeah, you already got that one locked anymore. up. I'm just going to do this. Okay. So that one, let me make sure that is high five. Place the high five token. When you oh, when you place your fifth die there. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. So you don't you oh, won't be able to do it. So, so can I? You can spend a chip and just ignore this round and get your die back. Yeah, I'll okay. do that. Cool. So Michelle spends a chip and she pa passes her turn to Lauren. One and three. Where's three? Oh, so. Now, uh, I should say. If you want, um, Michelle, I should, you know, I should say that this is still up for grabs. So if you would have put a die there, you would have been in the lead for that. I would have tied you nonetheless. Yeah. Well, now you tell me. Yeah. No, I totally forgot. Let's rewind. Let, let's rewind. Okay. Okay. So I do want to leave mine there okay. then. And you'll get your chip back. Okay. Okay. And then I took my turn, so it's your turn. Okay, cool, cool. No! <laughs> uh, <gasps> we're all going there. <laughs> Okay, back to Michelle's. Hey, you You're got two so dice. so greedy. <laughs> okay, so that's a five. Well, that's not going to do me no okay. good. Now, the five, if you're second place, you do get the 70,000. Oh, forget. yeah, so don't put your, your die there. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> it don't put your die there. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. This is my last roll, unless I play okay. a chip. Two. Deuce. Yeah, you'll get at least some money out of that. Okay. Wanna be Kiwi. Hey, three. hey. Oh. Uh, okay, so I want the three here. Darn it. Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay. No, so, I don't... Oh, she got one. Well, she can still okay. do it. Three. Wanna be three. Kiwi. Thanks three. for joining three. us. Four. Oh. Want to spend a chip? No. No? Okay. Uh, so now we resolve, uh, starting with number one. Okay, so here. So yellow. Okay, so I get 60,000. Holy moly. Blue. Lauren. Okay. Okay. And I go ahead and have my our dice back. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I feel like oh. the dealer. I know. You're totally the fit okay, last year. Okay, so I totally... I have this, so Crushed I get the 60. It. Yep. Okay, and... Me. Okay. okay, and then now you get to roll those black dice. And these, um, you just roll them wherever they um, end up. You just put them on the spot. And I those roll. will... Both of them, they will count towards your um, dice next turn. So do I roll them now? Yep. Oh, okay. Good luck. Right, okay, so, so they're both fives. Okay, Michelle's going after fives next okay, round. I'll just put it right here for now. Cool, cool. Okay, so this one, um, yellow. Yes. And this gets okay. discarded. Yeah. Yep. And no one got the high five. Okay. okay. Oh, I got this one for 80. Oh, mom got this one. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Okay, ooh, my chair's stuck. Lauren got okay, the 80. Okay, so here's that. Then your dice. And I get 70, nice. and both those go here. And Lauren, you have 90. Nice. And the other one gets oh. discarded. All okay. right. And now Michelle's got two of those uh, fives there. And we now for the second round. Again, thanks for joining us, folks. This is Las Vegas Royale. Oh, we changed these. We changed these. these. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So no more punching. <laughs> okay. Now I'll give you this one. We can put it on the number one, number two, and number three. Are we only doing part of the board because there's three players? Uh, no, it's always like this. So three numbers oh, are regular, and then three number well, the one, two, and three give you the special stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. And then for setup, oh, so for the start round, everyone gets two more chips. Woohoo! Okay. Are the chips worth anything if you don't use them? Uh, no. Oh. Okay, so this is a discard. Now we're going to do pairs here. So 70 and 30, 30 and 30, uh, 30 and 80, 80 and 70, 130. Oh, that's a big one right there. Water B. Kiwi says, I picked up this version, still have the original, but still have to break this one out. This is so my good. first time playing this. Yeah, I, I love it. Okay. So what we do, we start with number six and then work our way down, starting with the, uh, the, the pair that has the most money. So this okay. is 150, this is 160. So the 160 will go on number six. Okay. Uh, 150, <laughs> number five. Bottom shelf video games says... Uh, this one here. Casinos in England call poker chips <laughs> poker crisps. Poker crisps. <laughs> 
Um, 130, 110, 100, and finally 60 for the number one. Okay, and now let's look at the new um, little bonuses here. And we have a pug coming in. Okay. What is that one? Payday. Number, what, how is that? D1. Okay. So for payday, that one under number one spot, when activated, count the casinos that contain at least one die of your color. The casinos are these right here. The numbers. Okay. Um, this includes the active casino. Multiply the number of casinos by 10,000. If the total is 10 or 20,000, you receive one or two chips. If it's 30 to 60,000, take the money from the bank. Okay, so when you activate this, uh, let's just say I had a number, let me see, how many is it? I have a three here and a four here. And then I activate the number one. I have two casinos with uh, dice um, of my color, so I get two chips. Okay. If, I, if I would have had three of them with my color, One, two, three, then I get 30,000. It's 10,000 per casino. Okay. Okay. So that's payday every time you activate that. <laughs> Bruno must have sensed me thinking about him. I'm sure that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Wannabe Kiwi. <laughs> nice. Okay. So uh, now we have no entry. Uh, where's the round counter? The round counter is this one here. Okay. What? No entry. This is an interesting one. So uh, this one here. When activated, choose any casino except uh, the one with this tile and place the no entry on it. Like you could place it on number three, for instance. Uh, no dice may be added or removed when or removed when that's there. And it cannot be moved after it's been played? Yep. Uh, so no dice may be added or removed. The casino is closed. Oh. Okay. And in addition, move this one space and uh, gain the bonus on there. So once you move it here, you would get two chips. Move it here, nothing. Move it here, you get whatever that is. 50. So when do you move that? Uh, anytime this moves. So anytime anyone activates this, you choose a number, gain the bonus. Someone else activates it, move it here, move it wherever. Oh, okay. I thought like once it moved, it was done. No, okay. it continues. Okay. So it's almost like a hot potato. Okay. Okay. And the other new one. Oh, by the way, here's Bruno, folks. Hi. Hi, Bruno. Bruno. Oh, uh, thank you, GB Glazers. Bruno's, uh, you're going to get walked by GB Glazer. Wait, that's not, oh, that's not it. There it is. <laughs> Bruno went for a walk today and ended up having a little puggy party. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for the next one. Thanks for walking, Bruno, uh, GB. Let's see, these go here. Hey, why are you looking at the table like? Hey. Getting closer to Ruel's elbow. <laughs> oh, no, not my elbow again, Bruno. Okay, so block it. This is an interesting one. Uh, we have the gray dice with no numbers. When activated, when you activate this one with one of your dice, <laughs> Bruno, stop looking. Uh, choose one of these um, clusters, either three, two, or one, any one, and then take the blank dice and place it on any casino of your choice. Okay? So during this round and during payout, treat any blank dice in those casinos as belonging to an imaginary player. So let's say um, I had, or Lauren had uh, two fours here. I go over here with my three and activate this. I say, oh, I'm going to choose this one. I place these here. Now, that at the end of the round, that's two versus two. It cancels oh, out Lauren's. And no that's me. Yeah. The oh. block it. Yeah. Well, this is going to be a cool one. Oh. All right. Let's check um, comments real quick. Yeah. Oh, uh, Wannabe Kiwi wants to take a turn. All right. Thanks, uh, Wannabe Kiwi. Thank We're going to let you... Uh, to take a turn. Oh, Bruno, take a turn. Oh, okay, cool, okay, cool. Bruno. Bruno. Yeah. Here, we're going to, we'll walk, we'll, we'll say that, we'll take him for a walk. <laughs> uh, Sarah's in the house. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for stopping by. During pandemic, I play with a lot of imaginary players, right? <laughs> um, so, let's continue. The next player is, there's a, a player wolf. Oh, we got our two tiles. Um, so, I think at the end of the round, who goes? Next. The player who won the higher money in the casino, six. Who won this um, number six there? Me. Lauren. So you uh, begins the, you begin the next round. Okay. Okay. Ooh. So you get to roll the dice. Um, do you want someone to roll for you? I got it. Okay. And you, and you can roll in front of you if it's easier. Uh, okay. Mm, five, five, five. <laughs> 
Hey, Brenda Prince. I'll go with a six on keyboard over there. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, my turn. And for those who just joined us, we are playing Las Vegas Royale. Oh my gosh, are you sixes. serious? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go four. Okay. Wow. Yep. And just <laughs> as a reminder, folks, Michelle has the two black dice for this round. She has the lead in number five. <clears throat> okay. Well, you know, I'm going to just go ahead and do this. Cool. So Michelle's pretty much locked one, it One, two, up. three, four, five fives. Nice. Okay. And just a reminder, we do have chips oh. that you can spend a chip to skip your turn. Ooh. Uh-oh. Four, four, four. Meh. Dang it. All right. Okay, six, six, three. Who do I do that? I think I do. Okay, we're gonna be mean. I'm gonna put the three here. So that's gonna be two threes. And I'm gonna take the three here. <laughs> so now Lauren is tied, I would win the that money for that one. If yeah. if it ended down. I like the blocket yeah. space. <laughs> Sixes here. Ooh, nice. You want to see? Okay. All right, and Lauren and Lauren and Bruno are taking a turn. All right. Okay. Ready? William Wolf is in the house. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I love this game. Uh, I like the bar. It's just mean. Right. <laughs> well, the bar is I, there's a, it's another one called the bar here. I haven't. Oh. We haven't I gotten that one yet. We're talking about this. Yeah. The okay. no entry. Uh, where'd you go, Lauren? Oh, you went back to that spot? Yeah, I rolled another four. Here, I'll Ooh, put all, right. all the blues together. Thanks. Hornets is in the house. Hi. Thanks for the lurk. Is that lurk? Unlurk. Unlurk. Oh, thanks for <laughs> unlurking. Okay, so I've got easy. threes, fours, threes, and a one. Oh, I don't want the one yet. Did you ultimately hose yourself for that one hundred? Um, it was more. It was more of a, a blocking move. I was just hoping that you could, like, you would get hosed. But yeah. You but... obviously, yeah. No, <laughs> unless I go here again. Ah. And get. One more die. Oh, Bruno. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the six there. Can you put the six down there, please? Thank you. We know Bruno's. Okay. I, I really like this version already. I, I think it's fun. Okay. I Ooh. think um, I'm going to put this right here. Hi, Bruno. Okay. No. Yeah, that's Lauren's turn. Bruno, Bruno. Bruno hasn't been faced by Benny lately. Yeah. Lauren's got two fives, and then the biggie die is two. I'm going to play a chip. Okay. Biggie, biggie, biggie. So Lauren skips biggie, her turn by playing the chip. Do, 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 Bruno. Do, do. Oh. <laughs> Where's Benny? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to place this number one, please. Uh, Michelle, could you put that number yeah. one? So what that means, I have one, two, three. Is it also include... <laughs> what is that? D1. Uh, count the casinos that contain at least one die of your color. This includes that. So I have one, two, three, four. I get 40000 from the bank. Bruno is also reading the rule book. Yeah, what's it say, Bruno? <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> smells good. <laughs> and it's back to Michelle. Hydrate. Hydrate. Darwin Thank Blenar. you for hydrate. Thank you. Thanks, Darwin Blenar. Okay, so... I have two fours and So this is our second one. of three rounds. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to do this. So that means I get how much? One, two, three. Uh, including the number one, you have a one, six, and five, so you get 30 grand. Okay, nice. I will take 30 grand. Oh, yeah. And it's back to Lauren. Let me find the 30 for you. There you go. Gracias. Do one more chip. Okay, so Lauren has skipped her turn. Shuffle those. Six, six, 
six six and four four. Hmm. Stupid dice. I'm gonna spend a chip. <laughs> <laughs> I did sort of hose myself. <laughs> Wait. Five and four. Five and four. I think I will spend a chip. Okay. I like having the chip option. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. So you're not forced to use yep. dice and like waste your turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, a couple of deuces. Oh no. So if you put them on the two, that is the no entry. Uh, you're going to place it on your choice, the blocking thing, on any choice uh, casino. And that casino is now closed. No dice may be added or removed. Mm -hmm. And then you will move and get a bonus. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> oh, do you have anything locked in yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, the four. You can well, lock that down. I rolled a six, but with the big... Die. So you could do oh. those count for two though. This one counts for two. So I would tie you, you would and cancel each other out. Yeah, that's and okay. And then you would get the money. I like that decision. Yeah, I don't want that. Yeah, don't do that. Or you do the twos, <laughs> then you you would get the lead on the seventy thousand, and then blocks uh, a casino from getting dice. Is it blocked for me too? Yes, block for everyone. But see, if you put on the four, then you block everyone else, and we can't uh, remove. You, we can't beat you for the hundred grand. Well, it's just you and Lauren on that one. Oh, yeah. What am I saying? <laughs> we have to roll a bunch of fours yeah. to get it. Okay. Lauren has spent the chip. Yeah. She will skip Come her turn. Grizzly Dez in the house. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Hornus is also uh, redeem hydrate and stretch. So I'm going to stretch. Ugh. I will hydrate. Oh, oh, oh. He's Bruno's right. stretching. I stretched this morning. Thanks. I uh, did a Pilates challenge. Thanks, Hornus. And oh one of the, well, today's... Uh, exercise was a split stretch. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm stretched. Nice. <laughs> Trust me. I'm going to go five here. Since Michelle's that, I'm going to try to sneak in for a second place on that one. Hi, little boy. Yeah, okay. So, so, a three and a five. Um, Ooh. So, if I do the three. You get the block. You get the blocking dice. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So there's a three, and you may choose two, two, one, or one die. I'll do this. Okay, so what so. that uh, what that means is it's like an imaginary player. So right now the imaginary player would get the most money, and then oh. the red and yellow are still tied. Okay, I'm yeah. Doing that. yeah. Okay, I thought I was adding to mine. No, no, this is yeah. Only the black ones add to yours. Okay. Okay, well, I may need to rethink this then. Okay. Oh, I don't know what I had. Did I have a five? Yeah, three and a five. five. Okay, um. Oh, no. Ah! Uh, mm-hmm. What are you doing? The room is going crazy. Um. You know what? I think I will use this. Okay. And I'm going to put it here. Boo earns. Nice play. <laughs> okay, and uh, so oh. Lauren's turn. Is it proper? Go, Bruno, go. You need to be near you? I don't know. <laughs> it's a little curly He's tail. thinking about it. Oh. Good boy, Bruno. Okay. Thanks again for hanging out with us, folks. This is Las Vegas Royale from our sponsors uh, for tonight's episode, Robin's Burger. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wanna be oh. Kiwi? You can do both. Yes. You can have Bruno on your lap as you play games. <laughs> What's All happening? threes, Lauren. Oh, you want to get down? Interesting. Okay, sweet boy. Oh, this is an interesting choice. Do I have to play all three? Yes. And you do have a chip. I only have one left, though. Yeah. And we will get two more chips at the end of the round, before the third round. in the blocking dice. Oh, interesting. One, two, and six. Well, darn. I break the tie at six. And one. One gets this money. 
that you want me to do? I'm going to go to two. So even though I don't win it, I'll get second place. And I get to move this up. And I get two chips. And I get to block something from adding more dice. Uh, we are going to block... Darn it! Really? Uh, I'm on every single one. Well, I'll, I'll block this out. Okay, I'm done. Boo earns okay. again. Six. Ooh, okay. Ooh, locks that one up. Nice. Okay, Lauren. I don't have any more. Oh, you don't. Okay, so Michelle, is that your last one? Yes. Cool. I've got a five and a tray. Mm -hmm. um, Ooh, you lock yourself out of the three. Yeah, so we're going five. So at least I get second place there, right? Because I'm above the dummy player. And my last die is a six. Ooh. Hey, perfect. Whoa. I do feel like I'm being hustled. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's uh, cash out the casinos. Okay. Starting with number one, please. Mm. So neither one of us. Ah. Okay, so there's me. Thank you. And what happens to this money? Uh, we just discard it. Okay. Gracias. Okay, de nada. Okay, so here, imaginary player gets this. You get 30. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so this is gone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Lauren gets 80. Woo! And you get 30. No, I get, um, oh yeah, because two, that's right, yes. Okay, I get nothing. Oh. Okay, so on this one, um, so blue, Lauren gets, ooh, 100,000. Nice, that's Lauren. not too hard. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Okay, an imaginary player gets 30. Okay. You get that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, I get 80. Ooh. So what happens to those black dice? Uh, they just get dumped out of the game. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, and you get 70. All right. Imaginary gets nothing. All right. Okay, and I get 80. Nice. Okay, Bruno. <laughs> Bruno wants it. Sorry, all right. I'm a slow dealer. <laughs> and you get 80. Oh, thanks. Okay. okay. So now we go to the final round of the game, folks. Let's get out some new tiles here for the casinos. Getting a renovation in the casino. That's right. So let's go with uh, like nice dice. Of uh, double grass. down. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm going to the other side now. Let's try. What is this handicap? Was that from his his peggy party? I think so. Power play. <laughs> uh, what's bad luck? That just sounds funny. <laughs> yeah, we're doing bad luck. Uh -oh. Okay, it's okay. So <laughs> on that one, nice dice. What what's the number and letter next to it? Um, H one. H one. Okay, so nice dice is when activated. If you want, you can place a die you just rolled. Or one that you just place on this casino on this tile. Place that die onto the die space corresponding to its rolled number. Uh, if there's already another die on that space, either your own or opponent's, place that die in the corresponding casino. It will not trigger that casino. And then, during payout, at the end of the round, each player removes their dice from this tile and takes a corresponding um, reward. One or two chips, or thirty to $60,000, depending on what Okay, so you roll a one. Uh-huh. Okay, so does that mean you put your one here? Uh, yes. So you have to roll another die? Uh, no. So you know how you roll all your dice in there? Uh-huh. Uh, first you put your ones in there, and then you may take any one there or a one that you rolled and place it in the spot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is that? G2 for double down? Yes. Okay. When activated, if you want, you may move as many of your dice from this casino to the corresponding space on the tile. These can be dice you just placed in the casino or dice you placed here previously. During payout, this tile is paid out exactly like a casino. After possible removals, the winner gets 60000 runner gets 30000 from the bank. What a tile. So if you want, you may move as many of your dice from this casino to the corresponding space on the tile. Um, what is the corresponding space? That one I don't get. Mm, so this... So you roll a two and it goes here? You may move... Oh, oh, to the corresponding from this casino. No, I don't get that one, folks. Anyone uh, know what double down is? Hmm. That one's sort of weird. 
That doesn't make sense. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that one. I'll, okay. I'll figure it out later because I don't want to spend all night trying to figure Maybe out. Maybe we should just put a different one here. Yeah, we'll put a different one. Okay, let's do here, jackpot. Okay. A2. So we'll figure that one out later. I, I just, it's not coming to me. We're going to use jackpot, folks. So set up the jackpot counter. So the jackpot counter is here, Lauren. Put that there. Put it on the first space of the tile, 30,000. Um, when activated, throw the extra dice, the black dice. So these are coming back in into play. If you rolled a seven or a double, take the amount displayed beneath the jackpot counter from the bank. Uh, then move the counter back to the $30,000 space. If you didn't roll a seven or a double, advance the counter to the next space. So anytime, if you go here to activate it, you roll these dice. If it's a seven or a double, you get the bonus. If it is not a seven or a double, you move it here. So it's going to increase the more people mess, uh, miss it. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Uh, finally, bad luck. That is C2, I believe. Mm -hmm. Bad luck is each player with the lowest amount of dice in this casino, before removing any tied dice, must pay $50,000 to the bank when the round ends. <laughs> So, what? so whoever whoever has the fewest threes pays fifty grand to the bank. <laughs> the fewest threes in there. In, in the casino, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Bad That's luck. A lot. Okay, here we go, folks. So, oh. who got the sixty? That was Michelle. Took the sixty. So you're first this turn. Okay. Uh, let me do the uh, payouts first. Oh, <laughs> it's already. Oh, There's not even any money there. Okay. So the way this oh, is a little chips. different. Uh huh. Oh yeah, two chips for everyone. Thanks, Lauren. This is a little different than uh, regular <laughs> Las Vegas because you have to, you actually get to look at what we have here. So 140, and you're going to place it according to how much is pulled. Oh, wow. Everything's really high. Yeah. Rather than in le regular Las Vegas, it's just random. So 2, 4, 5, 6. So we got a 70 and a 70. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. 140. Uh, these are two 140s. Okay. So this will go on space 6, space 5. Uh, 111, 110. Oh, just kidding. So 11, 11, 11, 13. This will be four. And then the highest one, the 80 goes here. 110, 110, and for number one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sucks. I don't know if this is just like coincidence of playing with three players, but uh -huh. like first place gets 80, second place gets 30, and then third place. Yes. Loses fifty. Yeah, so it's like you win or you lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, that's that's uh, Vegas for you. Uh, James is in the house. Uh, Hi, and thicker themer incoming from the future. Thank you. <laughs> good to see you. Yes. Okay. So so nice uh, for you to join us. Thank you. We are playing Las Vegas Royale. Okay, so I've got some threes, a five, a four. Oh, I kind of have a potpourri of things here. Okay, so. Because I don't want to pay 50000 I think I'm going to put my threes here. <laughs> Michelle, not messing around. I don't know. Well, I, I just don't know. Yeah. Now that I don't have a Bruno, I can <laughs> roll, here. roll like you mean it now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of threes. Nice dice. It's nice dice each one. Yeah, I guess I have to, huh? Wow. Well, it like, looks like I'm just going to eat that. I don't know why I did it over here. Um, I'm going to go with, let's see, one, 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 a two, three, four. You know, I'm just going to be nice. I'm going to place four and go to this casino all by myself. Okay. Tommy Miller's in the house. Hi, Tommy. Thanks for hanging out. Need to get to bed now, so have a good night. Hey, have a great night. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. Game Freak Girl's in the house. Hello, <laughs> Game Freak Girl. Okay. Monique. Um, 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 um. That's so bad. Sorry. I am going to I shouldn't have played all do these this. Okay. Yeah, it's one of those things, like, you want to play these dice to win, but then it's like you want to save them for yeah. doing other stuff. Um, mm. Monique in the house, Panda in the house. Let's just go here. Okay, I'm just gonna roll my dice here. Okay, so I've got a couple of ones. Oh, uh, in that nice dice, what's the bonus for number four? Forty thousand. Okay, so I'm gonna place two number ones there. Oh, but I'm. 
do I really want to give up my big, my biggie? How much is it for? Biggie, biggie, biggie. Can't you see? Sometimes it was just hit. Your dice just hit the dice. The dice hit dice. I'm going to put the four there, please. Okay, so. Yeah. So at the end of the round, if my four is still there, then I get the bonus underneath it. In addition to winning the section casino. Oh, okay. I don't think I understood that. Yeah, I just I just sort of figured it out right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, so six, five, and three. Thicker themer with all the Bruno um, emotes. Thanks for dropping all the emotes, folks. I'm going to put that here. Okay. One, one, three. Um, mm. If I play... Oh, gosh. That's a really bad roll. Yeah. Still have chips. Yeah, and they're not worth anything. Let me verify that. Oh, they're worth 100 grand each. <laughs> <laughs> and the game, uh, oh, it's a tiebreaker. Oh, okay. Player with the most money is, uh, game ends with the player with the most money is the winner. In case of a tie, um, the most money cards and chips decide the winner. Holy moly, you have that many chips? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I mean, I've got a bunch of bonuses, but I don't need them. I got sixes, a deuce. Hey, we're going to go deuce. Uh, I'm going to roll this. So I need a seven. Or doubles. Double. Okay. I got a oh, seven. seven. 30 grand. Muscle. <laughs> oh my god. 30 grand. I'll take it from the discard pile. All right. Amanda Panda has subscribed. Thank you, Amanda, <laughs> for the subscription. Seven um, months. Oh my god. Seven months. Thank you. Alert. Alert. We have a seventh month subscription. Thank you, Amanda Panda, for all your support. Round of applause for Amanda. Woo! Or this way. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Thanks as always, Amanda. She is not only the Amanda Raider, the chat moderator, but she's a streamer and an awesome person as well. Thank you, Amanda, for your support. And she makes great cookies. Oh, the best cookies <laughs> in the land. Um, right. Yep. Okay. Three and a one. Ugh. Wow. I'm, I already just conceded. I'm giving fifty thousand for bad luck. Oh, Michelle turns in a chip. Want to be Kiwi wants Amanda cookies. Yeah, <laughs> let, let's let's hurry up and get over this pandemic so we could actually all meet in person, friends. Right. You know, all of us, let's all get together. I'm thinking about that day we all get to hang out at a convention, share Amanda's cookies, and, <laughs> and play games. At the next call. Yeah. Oops. So the earliest I'm be... thinking, uh, earliest would probably be end of the year, right? 2021. It's be called post pandemic con. Yeah. <laughs> You've uh, cashed in a chip, Lauren? Yeah. yeah I've got a five. Or we can go down to Oz. I have always wanted to. Yes. Every but... time we go to the Philippines, I'm like, why don't we just go down to Australia? And, you know, because on the map, it's like this far away. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, it's like a long. It's far. Um, yeah. I was going to say a long drive. <laughs> uh -oh. A long plane ride. <laughs> An even longer drive. <laughs> yeah, say, uh, dark tadpole swim. <laughs> uh, I've got to section two, so I'm going to roll. Seven or doubles. Again? Doubles, yes. For being 30 grand. Oh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Somebody's played this game before. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Are those dice loaded? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Back to Michelle. Okay, four and a uno. Really? Yeah, thicker themer. Only a 12-hour okay. trip from the Philippines to Australia. Gil Goots, is, <laughs> Gil Goots is in the house. Hey, Gil. Cookie Con with some more. I'm all about Cookie Con. Yes. Four. Three, Cookie Con 22. Five. Um, I think we need to make Cookie Con happen, folks. That might be a thing. <laughs> Come on, be Kiwi's in, Thicker Themer's in, Gil Goots is in. The important question is Amanda Panda in. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Lauren's gonna go with a four. Really? Knock me out of that, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a couple of threes. I'm going to spend a chip and pass. Six and a five. Hmm. This. Block up the six. Nice. Nice. 
dice tray on the side there's there's like a, a silhouette a city skyline oh yeah and it's got like a triangle was it the Mer no not mirage luxor the luxor <laughs> four and five and i think that's the stratosphere yeah. yeah um four and five so i do the five the four man, i don't really i don't know i'm gonna toss a chip just because i have one <laughs> I want the perfect roll. Because I can. Because yeah, I can. I want the perfect roll. Three. Chip, 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 chip. Chip, chip, chip. <laughs> chip, chip, chip. Peer pressure. <laughs> <coughs> Two fives. Oh. Oh, biggie. Sure. Okay, so Lauren's done. I've got a three and a four. Chip, chip, chip. Chip, chip, chip. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to get that two again. I want to roll yeah. for money. One. Well, I don't have anything else to put on there, so chip. Chip, chip, chip. My knee just popped. <laughs> board Game Feast is in the house. Hi, Board Game uh -oh. Feast. Thanks for hanging out. Did someone <laughs> say cookies. cookies. Perfect timing, friend. There you go. I'm out. Oh, you're out? Okay. Uh, five and a six. Uh, I'll chip it. Jeez. Three. Didn't you roll three last time? I think so. Okay, well, this is. Yeah, final chip. I mean, I don't know that anything else would. Four and a one. So if I put the one there and I put this four there, what happens if the dice gets bumped out? Place that. Oh, gets placed in the corresponding casino, which I'm going to do. So I'm taking the one. This four bumps out that four. And it goes to the number four casino. Oh. So you actually have four fours there. I have three, three fours. You have four. You have four, and oh. Lauren has one. Okay, so that's the end of my turn. Okay. okay. Uh, so I OMG, need a four. Daniel, you definitely have to make some no, board game you cookies. Want it. Oh, Kelvin, oh, yeah, thanks, for, thanks, for, Kel then, thank you for okay. joining us. Okay, yes. Is it Kylie or is it Kale? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Kylie was a name that Lauren, well, I had considered for Lauren. Oh, we'll call her Kylie. <laughs> huh, I just played this earlier with uh, Heart Board Games on uh, You can tell, oh, cool, I didn't know it was on there. It's an online site. Um, I'm, we're all done with dice. Yeah. Let's score them up. Okay, so here. So you're the only one here, so you get 60. Discard. And, and then the die that was on number four. Oh, what is uh, it? 40. 40, thank you. Holy so. moly. Woohoo! I like this game, folks. Yeah, sorry. Right. <laughs> There's 40. Okay, so... Two, so you get 70. Yo. Discard. Okay, so here... I, I get... I get the 80. You get the 30. I'm blue. Oh, oh. <laughs> I forgot what color it and is. And I pay 50. And I cannot make change. That's the only thing that sucks. Really? Yeah, no change. So there's 60 for you. Whoa. Boo, earns. <laughs> like you're not allowed to make Look at all of his money. Yeah, there is no change, I believe the rule was. No change. Oh. Yeah. If okay. I lose, then this game is broken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I get 80. Okay. And, oh, what's this here? And then you get the 50. Thank you. Okay, and... Both of us split the 70. Yay. Okay, so there's yours. Thank you. Okay, and then I get <laughs> 70, and Lauren, you get 70. Whoops. Okay. Count it up. Let's do some math. No. <laughs> I'm going to get my phone. I need the calculator action. Whoops. Why did I just turn on my light? Okay. So that's another 10. Did I just turn it on? Okay. All right, folks, so we're going to score it up here. Um, we're going to get our faces back on. Hi. Doing the math. Doing the maths. Okay. I don't know if y'all can hear Bruno snoring. He was in my office when I was having a meeting with a student. <laughs> and yeah, she could hear him snore. <laughs>
Yes. Okay, I got mine. Of course you do. Are we all good? <laughs> yeah. I got 750000 660. 660. How'd you do that? 332000 uh, uh, You have a gambling problem. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> GG, GG, high fives all around. <laughs> oh, I was oh. like... <laughs> good game. Um, I like this game a lot. I think it's such a neat, like, variant on the base game. Yeah, all yeah, the, I like the extras. All the fun extras. Like, I was totally, I, I love the punch one where, you know, <laughs> <laughs> holds it under your hand. It's silly, it's but fun. it's fun, yeah. Thank so there it is. Thank you for being a friend. Yes. Uh, Ruel1, what's the problem? Yep, thank you, Gilly. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, thank you for being a friend. And the problem is, is he has a gambling problem. <laughs> Love the response. Friends, that is Las Vegas Royale. Thanks to Robinsberger for sponsoring this channel and sponsoring this episode and sending the game. Really appreciate it. A lot of fun. Enjoy it. Folks, uh, check out the link um, that Amanda had just posted if you want your own copy. And we are going to raid. Uh, before we raid, though, I want to thank our special guest, Lauren, who hasn't been here in a while. Yay, Lauren. <laughs> it's good, good to play game with you again. Yeah, this was fun. It's been a while. I, actually, I mean, we do play games off camera as well. Like the, I think the last one we played was Baron Park, um, the one with the bales. No, we played no? the one uh, where we played Moana in the background. Oh, that's right. Blue Lagoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Blue Lagoon we played. That was the Kinesia game that we were talking about. So. <laughs> Gilgut says it's only a problem if you lose. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Wami Kiwi, so nice to see you, Lauren. Very nice. <laughs> but, uh, uh, GG, have a good night, friends. Have a good night, uh, Borgate Feast. Thank you. And hey, there's a Lauren shout out from James. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Um, thank you so much, friends. Game Freak Girl, much love to Lauren as well. Are we siblings? Are we cousins? <laughs> yeah, how does that well, work, Game Freak Girl? If we are auntie and uncle. <laughs> I guess, yeah, yeah. You would be sibling, no, no cousins, cousins. You're right. So you would be Ate Lord. Yes, there is uh, the um, info for Tabletop Live Network, folks. This Saturday, starting at 12 p.m. Pacific. Please follow on um, the socials. Uh, we start that this Saturday. Eclectic Camel has redeemed a Bruno fan. Thank you, Eclectic Camel. Thanks for dropping in. We're gonna raid someone Ooh. real soon. Yes, Game for Girls says cousins. You know, one more time, I'm folks. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm sure I missed someone for the Bruno walk, but if you've spent points, you get to walk Bruno. There it is. Hey, my head, my head. There's Bruno. <laughs> Thanks for Are walking, you, Bruno. You thinking about walking Bruno? I, I am. It's like, hmm, I'm thinking about should Bruno go for a walk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, friends, uh, for more of this uh, nonsensical uh, action, please join us again tomorrow and or Saturday when we do Tabletop Live Network. Uh, tomorrow, Michelle and I are planning to play uh, Rivals for Catan with one of the expansions. We were going to play it tonight. That was the original plan, but, you know, we had Lauren here. We had to, you know, play a game with Lauren. It's been too long, so. Uh, Board Gamer Steph is <laughs> raided. Thank you, Board Gamer Steph. Uh, we were just about, we're going to double raid, so. Board Gamer Steph, thank you, Raiders. Thank you so much for raiding. This is the Raiding Hat for 2021. My name is Ruel Gaviola. I'm joined by my wife, Michelle, and our daughter, Lauren. Uh, we just got done playing Las Vegas Royale from Robinsburgers. Board Gamer Steph, what did you play? And let me see if I know how to do this. If I do the uh, little shout out here. Welcome, Raiders, by the way. Thank you so much for hanging out. I feel like do. we need to do like spirit fingers or something. Yeah, you, know. you want to give a. Welcome! Can we give Steph a round of applause, please? Oh, we can. Okay, to okay. so you, Steph. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Two of us are corny. I know. <laughs> <laughs> round of applause for Steph, folks. Thank you. Uh, let me see, Board Gamer Steph. Shout out, Board Gamer Steph. They played um, Viscounts. Nice. Uh, Ellen, Smash Up Marvel. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to play Smash Up Marvel on Saturday during TLN. Um, there's a shout out. Please follow Board Gamer Steph. She's great. Uh, she and Michael play so many games. It's awesome to see. Uh, Viscounts West Kingdom, Smash Up Marvel, and Ko Kohaku. Kohaku. I haven't played that one yet. I've seen it, but I haven't played Friends, now that you've rated us, thank you. Uh, we do analog alerts here. As you saw, we do round of applause. I have the analog Viking hat. But now we get to raid someone else. So we're going to find someone to raid here. Um, let me see if I go over here. Do, 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 do. Uh, anyone have any requests for raids? 
Earlier today, we raided um, Jess of CCG, or Jess of Chicks Can Game. We got Meeple Grande. Oh, we got to, you know, we got to raid uh, Omari. We love Omari. A Killiverse, we're going to raid. So stick around for the raid, folks. Thank you again for joining us. Have a great night. And um, any, any final words before we get out of here, Michelle and or Lauren? I'm looking forward to Saturday. Saturday's going to be a 24-hour stream. It's going to be crazy. A, it's going to be a blast, yeah. A Killiverse, right? There he is. Okay. Good night, everybody. Thank you so, so much for the raid as well, Steph. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.